can't do what? Well, you don't need to get up there. It's not a jungle gym. Why don't you come down? Yeah, I think you should come down. Cause you're crazy. So we got this enclosed trailer, got picked up from an auction. Uh, doors are pretty beat up. Nice and bent. Needs lots of work. But the owner of this thing, instead of uh, fixing these doors, we're going to build a ramp for it. And. Uh, going to be heavy enough to uh, hold a Polaris Razor, so a Polaris Razor can drive up on it, come up in here, so uh, never built ramp door before, so we're going to give it a shot, see what we can figure out. Alright, all the materials cut out, now it's just a matter of building the door. battery died so I don't know how much of that I got <laughs> I'll still play it back and see but there's the there it is finished rolled over all welded up and uh, sure will be nice when we have the shop built outside or the new shop outside outside this building built and uh, I'm going to work on this little bay on the floor. So that'll be nice. Only a few more months. The microphone inside the case on this camera doesn't pick up very good audio. So I'm going to have to do a voiceover. There is an aluminum trim around the bottom of that and I need to cut it off because I cannot weld the hinges to the aluminum. I've got to weld it to the steel that's behind that aluminum so I'm going to have to remove that so I can weld to that steel. After taking a look at that so-called C-channel down there, it's actually not a C-channel. It's just a bent piece of uh, eighth-inch mild steel in the shape of a C-channel. So I'm going to have to beef that up so I can hold the weight of the door. 
I was out in the scrap pile and I didn't, couldn't find any C channel, but I did find a piece of rectangle two, one inch by three inch, eighth inch wall, and it fit perfect up in there. But I can only weld it on one side, so I'm gonna cut some holes in the makeshift C channel and do some plug welds so I can have welds on both sides instead of just on one side. Right in there. Snug as a bug in a rug. Then we'll just fill up these plugs here. Yeah. She just fits right in there and I can weld up that bottom lip. I guess I could weld up in the corner on the top too. Which I'll probably but Try and get as much of that as possible. So fancy. listen to some of the uh that I was talking on it a few times and um, because it's in the case it just sucks so I need to get a, a microphone that stick that stuff yeah because they have two little ports right here you just got to drill a hole in it and then you like mount the microphone on the top I've seen that yeah. and um so I need to do that so right now I'm just taking video and I'm going to narrate over the top of it <laughs> that's a room does it huh? It shoots. It shoots now. Super loud? Yep. Nice. At first I thought it was my drive line because I couldn't hear it. I had my music up pretty loud. So I've got the door test fitted on here with the weather stripping already installed. Um, as you can see, there's a bit of a gap. I uh, remembered my measurements wrong. So side to side I had 
half inch of gap on each side but top to bottom I was short an inch and a half so I put a spacer in there so I can at least get the top edge of the door to seal and then I'd have to fill in the bottom later and then it's out of square of course the trailer's out of square so I got those hose clamps on there trying to hold everything up to where it's even all the way around and just barely clearing the lights I ended up having to move the left light after the hinge was put on it settled these are the hinges I made quarter inch plate three quarter inch inside diameter pipe over a three quarter inch round bar and then I had to use a three quarter inch bit to drill through the pipe so they'd fit on there nice and smooth all right so I made these hinges yep. and the problem with these with this trailer I yep. found Plopping. And so this big, this bottom, uh, the hey boy, Shh. this bottom piece here the bottom piece is uh, bent, uh, in. bent in. So, hold still, hold still, <laughs> trying to cover your mouth, Be quiet. So, uh, so uh, I had to bend these pieces here, these pieces right now. and, um, and um, like so. Went so. These, uh, because I've bent them out away from the edge, I went ahead and filled in the filled in the back side just to help beef it up so it doesn't bend more. As you can see, I've got a bigger piece of metal in this one than I do in this one because of the difference in bend. And so the only ones that I beefed up are just the ones where this ramp are going to be um, the most used at. So I only did had to do three. And then I've got this I've got this skirt on here. Because this opening, I wrote down the measurements wrong. I wrote it down as 71. It's supposed to be 72 and a half, so I'm off by an inch and a half. It might be. Um, and I'm putting the skirt on here to fill the gap. But this is right here. These are the beefiest. Because this is where the Polaris will be driving up and down. Not too concerned about the center as much as the ends. And that's where I've... Uh, made the uh good that's where i've made the uh try to make everything the strongest so it doesn't yeah. bend oh you know something like that bend.
back working on this trailer again. Getting closer. Getting this mounted. This latch. I got to do one more over there. But I'll show you what I've got going on here. welded in a couple of straps and this is um two pieces of eighth inch and of course i cut it a little short so i'll put that in there spot weld it weld the ends drilled and tapped the bolts and that's for the latch and then the door is a little thicker than i thought so i've got these spacers that i've made to space out this Hatch, handle, hinges, whatever you want to call it. And I just got to do that side and this side over here. And then once that's done, then the, uh, the boss can start insulating this and put three quarter inch plywood across it to help strengthen it some more. It's going to add a little weight, but it's pretty easy to pick up. I'm thoroughly impressed by these these uh i think it's called a tension bar spring i've got five of them in there and then this is just a three quarter inch round rod and there are bushings in between the spring and the bar there let's see if i can find just a little poly bushing it's like three quarter inside diameter seven eighths outside diameter bought a guy all on amazon this is a lippert i think that's how you pronounce it l-i-p-p-e-r-t there might be another t in there and then uh <clears throat> bought that off amazon and then all the metal i've been using scrap and then whatever i don't have i pick up from the metal store so I should probably, before it gets all enclosed, this is two by three, um, I want to say quarter inch. It might be three sixteenths angle iron that I have on the outside of the frame. That way it also acts as the trim um, for when it closes. So you don't have to like add trim. I've got one by three, Rectangle tubing, eighth inch wall in the centers. And then one by one, uh, I believe three sixteenths angle iron for the cross supports. And then I have more on the outside edges because that's where they're going to be mostly driving. And then some in the center. And then uh, we just went and picked up some, I think it's like 22 gauge aluminum siding. So it matches the rest of it. And it's there's not much information out there on how to build these. And so I'm just kind of winging it. Should be strong enough. Boss was thinking it might be too strong. Um, thinking maybe we should have went with two inch instead of three inch. But I am not an engineer. <laughs> I'd rather over-engineer it than under-engineer it. Um, this is the boss's trailer. Got from an auction, so. Um, trying to use up whatever I can in the yard and then whatever I don't have, we just buy. But there's the insulation that'll go in. They'll double stack it so it's two inches. <clears throat> um, trying to think if there's anything else. I haven't covered, covered. Yeah. I've got some round rubber pucks that I got to put on the bottom edge. Probably bolt it to this, to this uh, tubing here. Might even just drill and tap that too. It's either that or maybe I'll uh, drill it through this angle iron. Probably like right here. 
or maybe even like right here. That should clear the seal. Just put it close. Maybe I'll do that instead. But it should do what he wants. Be able to drive his side by side up on it. And uh, with it insulated, they will should be able to do some sleeping inside of it too. Uh, use it kind of as like a camber toy hauler. But I'll t once I get the next handle done, they can actually start insulating it. And then um, I still need to fix the fenders. They're aluminum, cracked or broken. I'll get those fixed. And get them slapped back on. So I'm almost done. This is the edge. I like it. Turned out pretty good. I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to do a good job. And it turned out pretty seamless. It looks good. Thin and dirty, but doable. It'll focus. Yeah, don't uh, don't rub this on. It burns real quick. Oh, that looks like it's all dark. It's because of this melted. But it'll do. It'll work. Put it on the trailer. Straighten her out a little bit more. A little twisted. We'll get it. I will get it. Second one's done. Probably should have taken it to before of how bent and twisted all these were. Oh well. They're straight now. This is all folded up here. This was folded in. Had some pretty big cracks right here. This one came out into a couple different pieces. That one was bent in, but it's all it's all straight now. This one's still kind of not as curved. It was flat, but uh, it's probably close enough. We'll get it on the trailer. See if we can bend it some more if need be. It's pretty thin. It moves fairly easy so get it bolted on i would recommend using half inch plywood instead of three quarter that door got really heavy after installing the three quarter inch plywood on there you know what's funny about this project is uh, it was the very first one that I decided to start recording on. And it's gonna be like the eighth one I get posted. <laughs> oh, <okay. Yep. laughs> when I started building the door, I was like, you know what? I should probably record this. All right, we're almost done. Let's see if we're gonna add this latch on here. Got a little template.
get to it. Drilled some holes straight through. Copied the template on the other side. Missed a little bit on that one. <sighs> oh, you're in the video. <laughs> super easy but it's doable yeah yeah that was a fun project oh Isaac Isaac loved climbing all over it I did not yeah you did there's a ton of video of you climbing all over the the door Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's so a bit soon. Yeah, it was. But it's done. Jackson took it out for the weekend. They're going to test it out over at the sand dunes and, and uh, see how well it keeps them warm because it's like 30 degrees at night. So, but thanks for watching. Isaac, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs>